Okay. Welcome back. Okay, I got the cameraman to help me and do my braiding because I told you it is a little easier if someone helps you to begin with. There's where I started it, and now we have a little over a foot worth of uh, braided rug already with our three colors originally. This is going to be the fourth color I'm going to add. I have folded it in half, practically, or about the same, and I'm going to intertwine it in here to kind of hide it a little bit. Okay, so I'm adding the fourth color. And again, I'm going to put it underneath the sewing machine. This is the only two times that you're going to have to use the sewing machine, and then you're done. Even to finish it, you will not need to use it again. I'm in reverse, which is a big thing that I tend to do. So now I'm in the right position, and I'm going to go ahead and start. A little forward, a little reverse, a little forward. Oh, it's getting stuck. There we go. So it reverse again and look at we are done so that's as much as you need the sewing machine and you can see that you can be avoided if you don't want to use the sewing machine trim off my extra little pieces and there we go so now we have the four strips together this is where the braid in part you're going to turn it I'm right handed so I'm going to want it on the right hand side of where I'm working. Okay, we're going to kind of separate them all out and we're going to decide which one maybe is the outest, farthest one out. Find an order. It doesn't have to be an exact order to be honest with you, but once you've established the order you'll go on from there. Okay, so this is where the braid in starts. We have four strands. One, two, three, four. They're going to be braided into this. What I didn't do is I didn't attach, here we go, I should have done this already, but now you're going to see how easy it is to do. You're going to thread your needles. I like the tapestry needles. I do like, in certain instances, the pin as well, and actually I usually use three needles and a pin. Why, I don't know. I have four needles, but... Uh, Sometimes the pin is, a uh, safety pin is what I'm referring to, um, is a more appropriate way to do it. I usually double it over, and I put the safety pin through, and there you go. This becomes your little needle or poker. So, you have your four colors. One, two, three, four. You're going to establish which one is going to be your outside one. You're going to try to keep them in the order. Once you get going, this will be far easier. The beginning of any rug, even on the crocheted rugs that I usually make, is the hardest part. So you're going to do under, over, under. The outside one is going to go under, number two, over, and then under. And then you're going to slip it in to the rug and pull it gently through. You usually do each, pull it to the next one. In the beginning it's messy, it always is, and you're thinking, what on earth have I done? I tell you, just plug on. Okay, now this is in the fourth position, and here's your outside one. Okay? We're going to go under, over, under, and we're going to grab it into push it through the braided rug. At the beginning, again, it is challenging. Once you get it started and it's bigger and you've gone around a time or two, it is not near as challenging. This is why the video took me so long to get done myself because I had to figure this all out myself. Um, hoping this will make it easier and more enjoyable for you. Okay, see how it's starting to form. This was your original one, now it's in the two position. The outside one, this is the outside one. Under, over, under. Okay, and through the next stitch. It went through the next stitch. I'm going to do one more of these, but then we're going to pause again, and I'm going to have it braided down 
and show you how to get around the corner. Okay, so now we've done three braids. Again, now we're at the pinned one. Under, over, under, and feed it through the next stitch. Because it is jersey or t-shirt, it's a lot more has a lot more give to it. The first one I did had uh, I did sheets. There's not a lot of give, a lot of frustration involved. Though I love sheets, it did not work well. So you see, we're on our way to braiding it. I'm going to quickly pull up this one again. See how it looks, and you can't see where I started it really. There's a little bubble there and a little there, but once you get it going, you don't notice that. So you won't notice that either in yours. So we're going to pause here. I'm going to braid, and uh, you'll meet me on the other end. Thank you.